Hi, I'm Caesar. Uh, I'm back. So in the past video, we implemented a push model for the graph. So that way, the evaluation of the nodes is handled by the graph. It's automatic. We don't have to be explicit about it. And we do that in a single node. Uh, so in this video, we're going to basically fix connections because that broke uh, the connection between nodes, basically. And that's why we have to, uh, to test committed out. So let's, well, before that, let, let me clean up a little bit at the test because the names are, are misleading. So in this test, looks like we are actually testing add and remove nodes from the graph. In this test, we are basically testing a single node evaluation and we probably can return this graph so it's cleaner uh, let me uncomment this in this test we are yeah we want to test then connections so test node connections instead of uh, creating a new graph I will get the graph from the previous test so the, pre the previous graph I already have a node that's node 1 so let me change that name uh, that name to node 1 uh, we don't need to, well, node 1 will be equals to get node, node 1, and we don't need any of this. We don't need to call that. Node 2 is a new node, and it's setting a value 1 to 5. Then it connects value 2 to whatever comes in node 1 we don't need to evaluate that and the result should be equals to 5 plus whatever comes from the first node and that's 5 so let's try this okay so the test is not passing and there's a recursion going on so let's take a look so when we first implemented connections we have all this update value thing going on I don't really like it actually we only can connect input ports so this should be implemented here looks like so let's do that first and let's remove the update value and I think we were using update value in the evaluate function. Yeah, we don't need that anymore because the model will take care of that. So that was like a quick hack to, to keep it working. Okay, there's no more recursion, but of course uh, we only get uh, five instead of 10. So basically there's no connection. We only get the first value. So let's fix that. Uh, so what's going on in the connection? When we connect, we set the port as it's connected, which is good. We can do that. We probably need to do that with the output port too. And then we set the data source to the output port. That's good. We actually need to do that probably the other way around too, it's like bidirectional. I mean, you know, the output board should know what's connected to. And um, that's pretty much it. Well, we probably want to set the date, the value once. So that uh, triggers the evaluation, well, the update basically. That will be equals to output port dot 
value. And that's it. So, so basically we're setting the value in the output port, but okay, let's move on. Let's uncomment our other test. So this test is getting the graph from the previous test. That's node call test node connections. It get the node one, which have a value of five, if I'm not mistaken. Change this to 10, evaluate. We don't need to do that anymore. So this should be 10 plus five. 5, no, plus value 2, value 2 was 3. Oh, man. Okay. And then it takes, it gets the node 2 and check if the value is equal to, and this should be uh, the first, the first value, which is 13, plus uh, value 2 or the other way around right? 5 plus 13 cool. and this and the name is is also misleading so let's test uh, oh, I don't know test persistent connection or something like that so we can we want to make sure that uh, we are pushing the values and when you set an output after evaluating okay, so we evaluate the node and we push that result to the next node that's why it's a push model so that looks like it's not going on at the moment so let's try this everything is passing except for this test and we basically we are getting 10 instead of 18 Uh, so that's this line 41, right? Yeah. So basically the connection is not persistent at the moment and that's because the output port is not pushing values when you set them. It's not pushing to the next node. So let's do that. Let's fix that. So class, let's create an output port because we don't have any at the moment. This will be a port. We don't want any of this. Uh, we probably want to uh, override or extend the set value. It's a push again. So value, and we can uh, return super output port self set value. And we pass the value. So this basically is the old behavior. But before doing that, we want to check so if self dot is connected. So if it's connected, we want to return Yeah, we want to push. Yeah, there's no return here. We want to push uh, the values. So self dot data source dot value is equal to value. Otherwise, do your thing. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, now we should use the output port. So next step is add output port. This should be output port. Let's run the test and everything is passing. So that's pretty much it. So now we have a, a decent <laughs> uh, push model going on in the graph. So let me save this. So git status. Okay, git commit all. Uh, so what we did here was a fix. Fix connection. 
under push model. Done. Cool. So I hope you like it and well, see you in the next video. Bye bye.